Hello, my fellow assholes. It's me, Ghost Boy, back with another video. It's been a while since I've uploaded, mainly because I haven't really had the motivation to do so. But this is a up collection update video, and I have one CD and four Blu-rays. Yeah, the Blu-ray collection is coming along quite nice. I'm gonna show off the CD first, just because I like to. I don't know. I like showing Blu-rays last. You know, I don't know why, but I do. But uh. Anyway, most of these I bought today. One of the, the Blu-rays I bought on in April, April 9th, I want to say. And I look like I'm far from the camera. What the hell? <laughs> okay, that's better. So, let's get started. Testament Titans of Creation. It's a very nice digipack, and it feels nice in my hand. I'm not even going to lie. Just looks like... Looks like science fiction, man. Like, it's so science. Just look at that. It's like science, man. Yep. Yeah, great album. Um, one of my favorite non-core albums from last year. It was really great. And, yeah. Let's get on to the Blu-rays. First, we got Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Um, double pack, double feature, whatever it's called. A uh, big part of my childhood. I don't think I've seen Ghostbusters 2 when it's full, but the first Ghostbusters was one of my favorite movies as a kid, even though it scared the piss out of me. I mean, come on. There's, uh, that's what that looks like. It's got, uh, both movies. I love Ghostbusters. Just, uh, some funny shit. Like, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Alright. Next, we got another classic. Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is, a. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a top 20 favorite movies list sometime this year. And spoiler alert, this will be on it. And that's all I'll say. But I just love uh, the Indiana Jones franchise. I love all four movies. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is awesome. Fight me. But yeah. And uh, I should keep the card in here because there's no other disc. But it's a very nice disc. And I was originally going to wait to get the, uh, like the box set for Indiana Jones. Like... The, of the four movie collection set, but I didn't feel like it. I just had to own Raiders of the Lost Ark. And, yeah, now I do. Alright, next we got Spider-Man Homecoming. This is, uh, I'd say the weakest of the two Spider-Man MCU films. It is awesome. It's got a... Uh, I mean, Spider-Man is one of my favorite... One of my, if not my favorite, superhero. And, uh, I think the Vulture is a really cool villain... Uh, you know, but I do think this film kind of had its fair share of, oh, it's also a uh, Blu-ray and DVD. Which one's which? That's Blu-ray, that's DVD. And I like these double packs because I can, uh, so I still have yet to get an actual Blu-ray player. I just watched these on PS4. So, uh, I could just put the DVDs in my DVD player or my PlayStation 2. Only problem is with my PlayStation 2 is that it doesn't play anything past a PG rating, so... I can't, oh, I could watch Raiders, because this is PG for some reason. <laughs> it was the 80s. So, yeah, it's PG, I guess for that reason. But, uh, I think the one downside I can say about, um, this one is, uh, I guess the interactions between Stark and, uh, Peter, because of, I don't know why, it's just so awkward every time they interact. Um, and until, like, Endgame happened, and then they just, yeah. But it's still a great movie. And I actually bought this in, this is the one I bought in April. It was a blind buy, too, because I already saw Far From Home. And, uh, because I was able to get that for free, I think. Because, you know, Disney Plus doesn't have both movies. Thanks, Sony. You fuck. However, speaking of Sony, we have another Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is one of the best animated movies I've ever seen in my life. I watched it for the first time a couple weeks ago. My brother has a DVD of it. And I watched it. And I fell in love with it. Actually, no. The first time I was like, okay, that was really good. Very nice. Then the second time I watched it, I'm like, this, this is like treasure. Give it to me. That sounded wrong. Damn it. Kill me. Okay, this is also a uh, a Blu-ray and DVD double pack. So, Blu-ray, DVD, 
I really don't like Sony animation. But they really did Spider-Man justice with this. Um, I love Miles Morales as the uh, the younger Spider-Man. And I heard he's actually going to be coming to the MCU. I'm looking forward to that. I like the... Uh, it's basically like a comic book in a movie... In like a CGI movie style. And... Uh, Do I feel like seeing anything else? I don't know. Because actually, I might do a top 25 favorite movies. Shit. Yeah, I'm done talking. That was my collection. Goodbye.